Gospel of July the 16th, 2017, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat, and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich oil and produce, on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold, whoever has ears ought to hear. The disciples approached him and said, Why did you speak to them in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has more will be given, and he will grow, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear but, not, but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear but not understand, you shall indeed look but never see. Ross is the heart of these people, they will hardly hear with their ears, they have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sour. The seed, the seed sound on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom, without understanding it, and the evil one comes and steals away, what was sown on his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy, but he has no roots and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed, the seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the world, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soul is the one who hears the word and understands it, and who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a peek of the first reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heaven the rain and snow come down and do not return there, they, they have watered the earth making it fertile and fruitful. So shall my word be, that goes forth from my mouth, shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. Well, of course, we know by uh, the Gospel of John that he named the Son of God the Logos. In Latin, we call him Verbum, the Incarnate Verbum, the Incarnate Word. He is the one coming down from the mouth of the Father. We see this sower that went out to sow, and at first sight at first glance we would argue with him how could he waste three-fourths of the seed in bad soil for the Lord himself says some of it fell on the path the birds ate it some on the rocky soil where there were no roots and some among thorns where it was choked. And only the fourth was sown on rich soil. 
Why? Well, you see, God scatters among all of us, among His children. But we, in our freedom, are able to become, likewise, path, rocky soil, thorns, or rich soil. For that soil is none other than our hearts. If we are, if we open our hearts, if we are intent on listening to God, then we become fertile ground. You see, the Lord said, whoever has ears ought to hear, ought to hear. This sowing is not a matter of opening uh, literally the dirt, but we have to listen and want to listen. It is absolutely not enough just to listen, but we want to make ourselves open. The disciples ask him, why do you speak to them in parables? And the Lord answers back, because they have hardened their hearts. In day, Messiah's prophecy is fulfilled. You shall indeed hear, but not understand. Look, but never see. Gross is the heart of these people. They saw the incarnate word, and they couldn't recognize him. They heard him, and they couldn't listen to him. They couldn't hearken to his voice, to his thoughts, to his commandments. Why? Because they don't want to convert. They don't want to be healed. That is terrible. Let us pray to God that we are not that way. That we are open to God. The Lord says, Blessed are your eyes because you see. Blessed are your ears because they hear. What do we see and hear? The Lord. That is what makes us blessed that we see and hear the Lord. The Lord then explains it. And then we have four things that we must do. The path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding. There is a great responsibility on each of us to understand the word. And an even greater responsibility on the part of us who preach that we should make that available and easy to acquire that knowledge. That it would be up to all of us, up to you, my brothers, whether you grasp it, whether you want it, or you reject it, but not because you did not understand it. The rocky ground are these ones that just do not want to suffer tribulation or persecution. They believe that achieving eternal life is like a right they have. That because they were baptized and they went to Mass and commune, received Holy Communion once or twice, they are entitled to entering into heaven and they are totally wrong. Or because they were ordained, they will go into heaven and they are totally wrong. It's not enough. We fall away. Among thorns are those who are lured by riches and worldly anxiety. Certainly we fight, we have a spiritual fight all, all day, every day, all the days of our lives. We are fighting, fighting against ourselves, against the world, against the demon, fighting for our captain. We should bear with patience, with love, with faith, good fruit. What is the good fruit that should come from our hearts? Well, let us remember what the, the criteria for being saved is. Because I hungered and you fed me. Because I thirsted and you satiated me. Because I was naked and you clothed me. Because I was a foreigner and you received me because I was ill and you attended me, because I was in prison and you visited me. Those are the very basic good fruits that our heart must produce. 
let us commend each other, dear brothers, that today, when we hear about this sowing, our hearts be open for the seed of God. Until we meet in heaven, God bless you all, brothers.